when life gets a little bit easier to manage, I'll, I'll start getting on team calls again. I'll start my program over again. I'll start showing up again. Even if you just give 50% every single fucking day, you're wasting more energy. If you're going to and your and your money. Let's be honest, being a coach, you had to sign up with money. Hey guys, what's up? It's Emily and welcome back or to my YouTube channel if you are new here. We are back at it yet again with yet another team Zoom call from the gift that just keeps on giving. Any guesses, anybody? Any guesses? You guessed it, Beachbody. It is supposed to be a mindset, motivational speech, talk, whatever you want to call it. And that's just what it is for the team Zoom call. And I say like everyone is so, so bad, but this is probably one of the worst ones I've come across. So today's video is going to be a good one, of course. Grab your beer, grab your wine, coffee, tea, water if you want to be healthy don't care but let's just go ahead and jump right on into it but of course if you haven't yet subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and follow me over on my socials at emily j fine i love interacting and talking to you guys over there as well but without further ado let's go ahead and get right on into the video all right thank you guys for hopping on tonight's team call today is july 6th which i don't know if to anybody else it feels super weird saying it's already july i'm like wasn't it just like May yesterday and then it was like March? We've totally, I don't know what happened. It's all getting weird. But so my name has been a coach for eight and a half years. Um, I love beach body coaching. I love everything that this opportunity could give you if only you run with it. Um, I truly believe in the products, the programs, the team, the community, everything that Beachbody has to offer. Um, that's why you have never seen me fucking give up. See, I'm already doing it. I'm already doing it. I haven't even jumped in and I'm already doing it. Um, so I get really like excited about talking about motivation and talking about mindset because I think that this is something that derails a lot of people if you don't have the proper mindset or if you think that you need to look externally for motivation. So that's my topic tonight. Um, so yeah, I'm sure you guys can already tell a little bit about where this is going to go. It is very emotional, psychological manipulation stuff that they just try to ingrain in you, but like kind of make it seem like it's coming off as life advice, which don't know why you would want to take life advice from any person that's trying to make money off of you, but let's continue on. Okay, so now I'm diving into the nitty gritty here and I still see a lot of people jumping on. This is great. Okay, so... How many of you guys have had a hard day ever in your life? Anybody? Okay. All right. I get it. Let's be honest. Not every day is going to be our best. We've all experienced that. No matter what age we are, we've all experienced not our best days. But the truth is you can give your best every single day. And I'm telling you that when you are in that dark area of your life, that may seem impossible to you, but I'm telling you, it's the truth. You guys, I have this little ladder desk. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys seen this little ladder desk that I bought and my foot is banging against it and the whole thing's getting wobbly. I may feel like, I don't know, maybe you guys don't see it. I see it. Anyways. Okay. So I'm going to tell you how you can give your best every day, but I need to have my notes in front of me. I get really excited. Like I was telling everyone before I press record, I get really excited about this topic and I can like veer off and just get on my pedestal and throw F-bombs left and right. But I wrote down bullet points so I don't get lost and, you know, legit have shit to give to you guys. Okay. So you can choose where you show up and how, like, do you guys realize you have the, you have the resources with inside of you, how you choose to show up every single day. Like if your significant other didn't put down the toilet and then you stub your toe and then you spill coffee on your shirt and then you're running out the door and your kid craps his pants and you have to change them and all this stuff, you can let that affect you. And then you could let that deflect on every other single person you come in contact with that day. Or you can be like, you know what, this is just this, I'm taking the situation at hand and I'm leaving it as it is. I'm not going to let that affect the rest of my day. Just like when you wake up and you're super cranky and then you're like, you know what? I'm not going to work my business today because I don't want my negative attitude affect anyone else. Has anyone felt like that ever? Okay. Okay. All right. Um, not everything is going to go as planned. Has this 
happened to anyone or can you relate to any of the above? You drop rank. You miss success club points. You gain weight after stopping a program. You have financial hardship. You have relationship conflicts. COVID. Like, let's fucking be honest here. But you do not, you do not have to allow any of these to paralyze your journey or your business. Okay, so the thing that gets me is financial hardship and issues. So they want you to keep spending the money on these shakes and the workout program, whatever, when you are going through a financial hardship and maybe you can't fucking afford the overpriced stuff. I don't know. Also, sometimes you just need to take a step back from stuff just because certain things in life pop up. Nothing wrong with that at all. So I don't know why she's trying to make people feel bad for having to do that. I'm going to say that again. Any hardship in your life, anything that is out of your control, that is a sticky situation, you do not have to allow to paralyze your journey or your business or your mindset. I know it's easy for me to say, right? It's easy for her. She doesn't walk in my shoes. She, she doesn't know what it's like to struggle. I've had my fair share of struggles, you guys. I know what it's like. I'm fucking almost 37 years old. I've had 37 years of struggles. Everything from health issues to financial issues to relationship issues to losing family to, to everything, to losing homes. I've, I've had my struggles. I've experienced COVID with my neighbors. Like, I, I get it. I'm in the trenches with y'all. We have two choices. We can either be like, you know what? Life is too fucking hard right now. I'm going to take my foot off the gas, whether it's my journey or my business or both. And when life seems to calm down and settle down, I'll dive back in. Anybody have said that before? Okay, so what the actual fuck? That actually <laughs> pisses me off so much. There's nothing wrong at all with life being too much. Hell, this year has been a fucking shit show for just about everybody, right? I feel like in some way, shape, form, or another. Like, everybody's going through some shit. Some might be the same as somebody. Some might be very different than others. You are allowed to take a step back from anything that you need to in life. Your mental and emotional well-beings are valid. They are so valid in the fact that she is making all these poor people feel bad that, hey, this might not be a good time for me to pursue this. I need to take a step back. I emotionally can't handle it. Physically, financially, it just, it shouldn't matter. When life gets a little bit easier to manage, I'll, I'll start getting on team calls again. I'll start my program over again. I'll start showing up again. Why? Do you guys know you exert more energy starting and stopping and starting and stopping and starting and stopping instead of just continuing? Even if you just give 50% every single fucking day, you're wasting more energy starting and stopping because you know why? Because then you have to pick yourself off the ground to get going again. And we all know how fucking hard that is, right? There's not going to be this gorgeous person on Instagram that's like, hey, do you want to sign up with me as a coach? And you're like, yes, oh wait, I'm already a freaking coach. You can't save my life again. It's my turn to do it for me. We're not going to have that person anymore because we are now that person. And guess what? I'm sorry to tell you, but you have the responsibility now to be that person to other people. But you can't be someone else's cheerleader if you're not your own first. Save my life again. Is that what Beach Potty has come to? It is saving people's lives? I'm sorry, but what kind of bullshit claim is that? Come on. I'm sorry, I have to... I know my girl Hannah Walker is not on tonight, but I have to comment about something she sent me today. She's telling me that her business is blowing up and she's been adding coaches left and right like these awesome coaches that are like eager to work the business and they're rocking their journeys and she's so excited for them. And she told me, I'm going to cry. She told me it was because of me because I was her biggest fucking cheerleader. And she's like, when I, when I noticed that you were my cheerleader, I wanted to be that to other people. And when I started being that to other people, they started leaning in on me and wanting to join me. Now, can you guys imagine how fucking fantastic it would be if you had a whole team of cheerleaders just cheering you on and running together, yes, life's going to get hard. Yes, shit's going to hit the fan. But you grab your friend's hand and you run together. You're not going to let your friend sit there in the slump and feeling sorry for herself. 
So why are you letting yourself do that to yourself? I'm saying yourself a lot. I just don't even know why she is giving these people this type of motivational advice. It has nothing to do with being in an MLM and it just proves again and again how they are wanting to manipulate you emotionally, get you in some sort of mindset that will benefit them later on. Because that's all I'm seeing here. And yes, the MLM structure, it is a business model. And yes, it's important to see and understand how that works. But I'm personally so concerned and want people to see this side of MLMs that they just don't really broadcast to the public and when they do they probably shouldn't because it is so easy to pick apart all of this and just realize and see how fucked up it is um okay i got off my my bullet points again um you didn't start your journey to quit when it got tough you didn't become a coach to quit when it got tough so stop allowing yourself to quit on yourself I don't remember where I said this. Maybe it was an Instagram story. Maybe it was a team call. I don't know. I talk a lot. But one thing that I've said before, and I'll say it again, and I'll say it again until I'm blue in the face, is if you are going to do something that you're exerting your time and your energy, your time away from your loved ones, your time away from being outside or doing everything, anything that you love, why half-ass it? Why only give 50%? Why only show up for that thing? And there is contradiction number 75. So did she not just say, you can rewind if you need to rehear it. She said, just at least show up for 50% if that's what you need to do that day. And then here she goes and says, why half ass it and why only do it 50%? Like, why don't you pick a fucking side? Okay, pick a story, pick a narrative and go with that and maybe I'll respect you just a little bit more. But when it's contradiction after contradiction, ah, uh -uh, no, I'm sorry. If you're gonna, and your, and your money. Let's be honest, being a coach, you had to sign up with money. Staying active, you have to use your money. You also use your time and your energy. So why the fuck are you here if you're only giving 50%? Why are you on your journey if you're only giving 50%? Y'all, our mamas and daddies gave us some asses to use our full ass when we're doing shit. So stop half-assing and give it your all. Again, I just cannot stop thinking about the contradiction about not quitting and then doing some days 50% if you feel need be and to not quit and then just don't don't give it 50% and to give it 100%. I'm sorry, what? I seriously just cannot get over that. But anyway. It's not hard. You guys, it is actually easier to keep going with your momentum than it is to pick yourself up again. And we've all done it. We've all done it. We've all let something in our, in our lives, whether it's our sponsor. I see you. Do you see this kid? Whether, whether our sponsor stopped showing up for us, whether we lost our success partner, whether we dropped rank, whether life got hard. Batteries. Baby, I don't know where batteries are right now. Didn't I tell you I was hosting tonight's team call? I know, but can you tell me where it's I, I don't know. I don't think we have batteries. Yeah, Robbie, you. Okay, can you get out of here? Okay. Babe. Mom life, right here. Gage. For, don't take batteries out of that controller. I'm gonna beat him. Anyways, tell you where the batteries are. Take or, that. Just take that controller. Like, get out of here and shut the door. Controller batteries. Just take the controller batteries. I don't care. Okay. But can you go? Can you please open it for me? Oh, give it to me. I'm a single mom. Chop chop. These are these are triple A, baby. Fridge. Sorry. Go. <gasps> You know what, what, what's going on here? He doesn't have batteries for his Xbox remote, so he's ransacking my everything in the house. Stop, just go. Th these are also AAA. Go, shut the door. I love you a long time. Shut the door. <sighs> Anyways, if this is like obviously completely unrelated, but just a little bit to judge a character there, just joking around saying I'm gonna beat him. Like, come on, like. Don't do that, but that's not what this video is about. Really just unprofessional as we know as they can be, not to mention just 
fucked up. So let's continue. We are, if we are missing out on hanging out with our children and helping them find batteries, we better damn well be giving whatever it is that's in front of us our full attention, right? It takes us way more energy to pick ourselves up from the ground than it does to keep on going forward. You are in control of your mindset. You guys, here's the thing. Our mindset dictates our lives. Let's be honest. How we look at things, how we perceive things, whether or not we say something's hard, that all comes from our mindset. If you were to say, you know what? Coaching is really hard. Inviting people is really hard. Eating healthy is really hard. Working out every day is really hard. Guess what? It's going to be fucking hard. Or you can say, you know what? I love working out because it makes me feel good. I love eating healthy because it gives me so much energy. I love inviting people because it's helping me build amazing freaking relationships that I couldn't build at the grocery store. If you start looking at the things that you've claimed as hard and start looking at them as fun or easy or exciting or joyful, then you'll start designing your life a lot differently. That is also a lot easier said than done too. It is okay to say things are hard and to admit that and feel that. It's okay. It is totally valid. Your feelings are valid. It is okay. There is some shit in life that is so hard and there's nothing wrong with admitting that. Whether it's your journey or your business or your relationships or everything. And here's the thing, you guys, we don't have to do that on our own. You know, before Beachbody coaching, I never knew, okay, I'm, that's very ignorant for me to say. I knew what personal development was, but to me, self-help books meant there was something wrong with me. I felt like I'm, I don't need to read that. Like, did anyone else feel like this? I don't need to read that. That means there's something wrong with me. Well, I, I should have been like, girl, there is something wrong with you. That's why you should read them. Like you are in a negative Nancy headspace and you need a GTFO. So I, I really wish that they would bring personal development in high schools and middle schools because I think that could change a whole lot of people's lives right then and there where shit starts getting super messy. But we have unlimited resources right now, right here, right now, a lot of them are free that we can use to benefit us and change our mindset. There's the Headspace and the Insight Timer apps for guided meditations. If you guys want, those like insight timer is free. I don't know about headspace, but there's guided meditations. There's plenty of podcasts that you can listen to plenty of personal development books. And I see there's so many coaches that share their personal development books. I think in one of the groups, we have a big list of podcasts and personal development books based on like um, topics and stuff. And there's people, there's other beach body coaches, other misfits that you can lean in on when you're having a shitty day or when you want to eat like crap or when you're in a fight with your significant other or whatever it is, you can lean on people and they could be your cheerleader and pick your ass up and not let you become paralyzed and not let you quit. But we have, we have to ask for help. I know for me, getting over that barrier of asking for help was freaking hard, right? Does anyone else feel like I can do it? I can manage everything. I don't need help. But then when push comes to shove, you're like, fuck, I really wish I was brave enough to ask for help, right? Like we get, I don't know if it's the ego or whatever it is, but we have to be able to lean in on someone and ask, hey, I need you right now. I need your help because right now I'm in the dark and I need your light. And again, I'm just like, what the hell? This is all based around an MLM. She's like trying to give life advice, but like it all kind of keeps coming back to the MLM. And what I think she is trying to do here is just to not get people to quit. This is very like motivational. Like if you're financially fucked, if you are emotionally just not with it, don't quit, don't quit. Cause you are going to see results and progress, this, that, all the things they like to promise, right? And I don't think a single one of these people are bad people. I'm sure that they're all great, wonderful human beings. It's just the uplines that really like lean into them and push this stuff on them. It's brainwashing. It's cult-like. They just can't really think for themselves because of stuff like this. The thing is, that's what we are for each other. And that's what we are for other people. That's why we show up every day. You know, that's why we share our stories. That's why we share our journeys because we want to be that light for someone else. But the thing is, we need to let that light shine with inside of us. 
That means we need to keep going. And it all starts with our mindset. Next page. Like I said, you have to be consistent in your mental journey. Every single day I meditate, every single day I journal, every single day I read my personal development. These are non-negotiables for me. If that's not your non-negotiable, whatever it is for you, you need to find something that works for you, but these are my non-negotiables. Do you know what happens to me if I miss one of those three things? My day's off. I don't know what it is, but like my, my vibe is different. Like I don't go on Instagram stories and like dance and you know, do all my stuff. Like I, I don't feel like my normal self because I'm not pouring into my own cup. So whatever you need for your mental health, for your internal strength building, you need to find that out, figure that shit out and do it on a daily. Here's the thing. Here's three sentences that may be gut checks for y'all. Ready? You have to want to make the time. You have to want to stay positive. And you have to want to put in the work. Mm, we love a good, you are the CEO, you are the boss of your own business. Yeah, right, just like shut the fuck up, please. Like, I'm so sick of hearing that phrase. I just wanna rip it out of my skull because every video I watch, and obviously not every video I watch, I put here on my channel, but seriously, every one that I watch, that is always like the tagline. You are the CEO of your own business. No, it's a buzzword, it's a keyword. That phrase in people's heads, just, I don't know. I think it just gets them excited, gets them going. It's a positive thing, because everybody wants to be their own boss, obviously, CEO, which I feel like that's kind of far-fetched anyway. So until they start paying all these people like CEOs, cut it out, I don't want to hear it. It's up to you to actually do the work, but you have to want it. And when you want it, you start believing in yourself because you're like, shit, I can do this. I can show up an hour a day for my work. I could work out half an hour a day. I could eat those veggies. Okay, I can do this. 25 days. Okay, thanks, Denise. Thanks. <laughs> this is why I stick around and have a great group of gals so they could keep me updated with my not lacking math skills. I mentioned about cheerleader before, but I had to say this again. You have to be your biggest fucking cheerleader so you can be a cheerleader for everyone else. We all have heard this, the lines about how the flight attendant makes you put on your own mask before you help others put on theirs. But here's the thing, you guys. We can't continue inviting people and putting our story out there and showing up for other people if inside we're hurting and if inside we're treating ourselves terrible. If every day you're telling yourself that you can't handle the hard and it's too hard and you're meant to be this way and you're meant to stay broke and unhappy and unhealthy, you are not pouring into your love cup, guys. And every time that, that you say something negative about yourself, you start poking holes in that cup and it just starts pouring out. It starts pouring out. And so when com people come to you and they're like, oh my gosh, I can never do what you do. You seem like an amazing coach. Well, that compliment doesn't stick because it's just going to go through one of those holes because your mindset ain't right. You guys could look on Instagram and on Facebook and go through threads and look at other people all you want for external motivation, but that's never going to get you where, anywhere. That may help you get back up on your feet, but that's not going to propel you forward. You have to look inside yourself. Wherever you are right now, your head and your heart has to be right period. And if it's not, you have to put in the work and you have to be consistent about showing up for yourself. You guys, I've always said you have to be the best challenger that you can be. You cannot expect to have a challenge group with people that show up more than you. You have to be your best challenger, period. You have to show up every day, whether you're in a challenge group or not. You have to show up every day because you deserve to live a happy and fulfilling life. You deserve to be healthy. You deserve to not have to worry about non-sufficient funds or don't have to worry about health issues or any of the stuff that could possibly happen in life. To an extent, that last little part is so true. People shouldn't have to worry about insufficient funds and not being healthy, happy, etc. But the problem that I have with this, it is all wrapped around this 
MLM beach body structure that nobody is gonna find that within this. And it's sad to me because these people are really just looking for something, something to get them started, something to get them going, something to fill them up inside. And when somebody like her is saying this type of stuff, it gives them just that little ounce of hope that Beachbody could be that thing for them when it's more than likely not. And that's just the part that kind of gets me sad and emotional. I don't hate these people. In fact, I'm I'm on their side and want them to realize the actual bullshit that goes on within MLMs. It's just sad. It's a really sad thing and kind of a sad note to end on, but I think this is important for people to see, be aware of, and just realize what is going on with the manipulation that these coaches are doing to these people that are just starting and all this motivation and yeah, when people say shit like that, you could believe it if you really don't know what you're getting yourself into. And like she said, she's been a coach for eight years. That is crazy to just be in that little hamster spinny wheel for that damn long. I know this was like a little bit of a different take on an MLM and whatnot, but I foresee it to be very important and for people to be aware and just understand everything when it comes to an MLM because I believe it to be important. So that is going to be it for today's video guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Again, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will catch you in my next video on Friday. Bye guys.